Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Dwight Yoakam called Heart That You Own. And it's going to start on an E major chord, and the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And we kind of start on the intro where the violin solo is, we've got E major. And then we're going to be going to a B7 chord, and the way you play B dominant 7 is first finger is going to go to the D on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and the pinky is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And if you strum just the A string to the high E, that'll get you your clearest sound with that. And it's called B7 or B dominant 7. It sounds really nasty. And you want to try and avoid the low E string or the thick E. And what I'm actually kind of doing is taking my second finger and kind of running it into it just to kind of get it out. And then on the intro, we go back to another E major, and then we got another E major. And on the very beginning, actually, there's this beautiful violin solo, too, like while, while those chords are going on, that you could kind of simulate by playing open B string, and then ninth fret on the B string, and then seventh fret on the high E, and then doing a seventh to ninth fret slide. So I'm kind of playing seventh fret on the high E and pushing into the guitar just a little bit to carry the sound of nine, and then back to seven on the high E. And then we're gonna go 10 on the B string, and then 9th on the B string, and another 9 on the B string, and then 10 on the B, and then back 9 on the, on the B. So we got open, 9, 7, 7, 9, slide, 7, 10, 9, 9, 10, 9. So that might be kind of a cool thing to kind of add in too. But then around those chords, a lot of times to make them a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the E and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to do that a lot to get your right hand used to it. But then if we try that through our intro progression, the cool thing is the second finger actually between the E major and the B7 doesn't actually have to move. So you may want to kind of watch second finger as kind of a guide finger between those chords. But if we try that with our strum pattern, we have an E with the down, down, up, up, down, E7, down, down, up, up, down, E, down, down, up, up, E, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, we kind of go into our chorus part. And on our chorus, actually, there's kind of a full chorus and a half chorus that he's kind of tailing the verses with. But on the full chorus that we have at the beginning, we got E major another E major, and then we go to an A major chord, and the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy, and then from the A, we're going to be going back to E major, and then another E major, and then we go to the B7, and then we do another B7 take those same chords and kind of mix them up. So we tried that chorus with our strum pattern, then we had the E with the down, down, down up, up, down, B, down, down, 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 up, up, down, B, seven, down, down, up, down, B, seven, down, down, up. And we're just kind of mixing up those same chords. So on our verse, we got A down, up, up, down, B down. kind of the second half of the chorus where we do E down up.
part where, where we kind of take that full chorus and do the full chorus. So you got the E down, up, down, B down, down, up, 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 up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down. So we got our A down, down, up, up, down, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, B 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 seven down, down, up, up, down, B seven down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be on our last chorus, and we're kind of mixing up a lot of those same things and kind of tagging it with, with a little piece of the end. Where we go, E down, up, up, down, B down, down, up. that you could kind of strum through the tune but if you want to make it even more interesting one thing that you could do is instead of doing down down up up down up you could do something I call a bass down up up down up and what I mean by that is like on the first down if instead of doing the whole strum across all the strings if on the E chord if you played the low E string that would be kind of the bass note for that chord or the lowest note with the name of the chord and then we can kind of do the rest of our strum pattern from there so you would have kind of a bass down up So if we tried that through our intro part, we'd have kind of the E major with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down, B7 with the A bass. Down, up, up, down, B with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down, B with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down. And then if we tried that through our chorus part, then we'd have E with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down, B with the low E bass. Down, up, up, down, A with an A bass. Down, up, up, down, A with an A bass. Dwight's kind of doing around a couple of the chords actually. Like leading from the chorus into the verse, there's this really cliche kind of country bass walk where, where a lot of times what the bass player in a country tune would do between an E and an A chord would play the low E and then go second fret on the low E and then fourth fret on the low E. So you could kind of do that around your chord with your bass down, up, up, down, or part of it, where you could take the E major and go bass, down, up, and then do your bass on the low E on the two, four. So we'd have E major with a low E bass, down, up, F sharp, G sharp, E major with a low E bass, down, up, two, four, to kind of lead into the A bass with, 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 with that. And that kind of happens between the chorus and the verses. But you really could do that any time that you have an E to A change. So for instance, like from the very beginning, you, on, the, on the chorus part, you could have the low E with the bass, down, up, up, down, up, E major with a low E bass, down, up, two, four, to lead into your A with the bass, down, up, up, down, 
wanted to, I don't think Dwight does this, but you could walk it back. You could do the A with the A bass, and then go to your four for the G sharp on the low E, and then two for the F sharp on the low E, and then kind of lead back to the E on the second one. So that might be something you want to try and add. So you'd have E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E major with the low E bass, down, up, two, four, A major with the A bass, down, up, up, down, E major with an A bass, down, up, four, two, to lead back to E major with a bass, down, up, up, down, E major with the low E bass, down, up. And then there's a little walk that Dwight does too from between the E and the B7. Not all the time, but sometimes you'll hear it where he's doing open A and then first fret on the A and then second fret on the A as kind of the bass for the B7. So it's almost as if your open A first fret on the A was your walk to get to the B7 chord. So we're going to try that with the E chord. You have your E major with the bass, down up, open A, first fret on the A, and then B7 with the bass, down up, up, down, B7 with the A bass, down up, up, down up. So we tried that through our whole first part of that chorus with our bass walks. You'd have E with the low E bass, down up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, two, four, for to lead an A with the bass, down, up, up, down, A with the bass, down, up, walking back, four, two, a E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, open A, first fret on A, second fret on A to lead to seven, and B seven with the bass, down, up, up, down, E major with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, E major with the low E bass, down, up, F sharp, G sharp leads to A, down, up, Second fret on the A leads to B7, and then we're back to E with the bass. Down, up, up, down, E with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. So that may be some things that you want to try and add through the chord progressions through the song. But that's the basics of how you could play Heart That You Own by Dwight Yoakam. So good luck!